love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded Okay 3 2 1 and fly That's it Can't see much from here. Oh. Yeah, it's behind <laughs> us, dude. Yep. That's a very flat place. Looks like it. Yeah, so that was probably not the first impression you were going for, but spawning this direction, like, damn, there's a lot of sea on this map. <laughs> It'll make some epic naval battles. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that uh, when we got Marianas, but I, I feel like this is even better. Okay, let's just do the startup. I mean, just the lighting looks different in this map. Is this the first map south of the equator? Um, or the my geography? Let's see. Uh, Marianas is also above. So yeah, this is the first. This is the this is the first map above the or sorry below the equator. Then we have a lesson for you in the warthog later. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, indeed. So north would the be anything north of the equator. The knee board is actually showing south and west rather than north and east. Neat. They thought of everything. Wow. Okay. This is more exciting than I expected. <laughs> Yay, new coordinates! Yeah, that's the kind of thing we get excited about. It's actually south and west. This is... Trippy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, at least here, out at sea, the performance is super smooth. Yeah, it actually is. I am good to go. Yeah, final check. Uh, water on. Spooling. Spooling. At least the brakes. Off the deck. What's up? You'd check out those islands. Like these are some serious waterways. Yeah. Almost forgot we were checking the map. <laughs> you could do some proper SWCC missions here. Imagine getting like the patch and just looking for small boats. Right, yeah. Dude, this is this is looking good. I like the 11 p.m. or sorry, 11 a.m. start time. Yeah. This is looking awesome. This small house. You have, it looks like a house and a farm or two farms on the left. A red one and a gray kind of bluish one. Yeah. I've heard that uh, in this general area, the the houses have really funky colors in real life too. Huh. I think, oh, a small city or some facility. And yeah, it doesn't yeah. look... Yeah, I don't know what this looks like, but buildings. Oh, that's oh, a... There. Yeah. That's the... Uh, that's Mount Pleasant, right under us. Wait, let's uh, do a little spin around it. Yep. That caught me by surprise. Kind of stony looking mountain tops. This is looking great so far. This is a really cool looking airfield. Yeah. Can't wait to use it. Hell yeah. It's great. Big uh, parking area. I love the Small bodies of water, small farms, or some EV or comms towers. Rivers going everywhere. This is a looks like a very rich map. Yeah, on the mission editor, those uh, white things kind of look like uh, snow. Now I'm uh, seeing it's actually kind of stony. Textury mountain tops. Yeah, I mean, look at the. I don't know if you can see it, but all those kind of stones and uh, 
or not, I'm crossing right now. So we are going to Stanley Port Airfield, which is right next to Stanley Creek, I think it's called. Stanley Harbor, sorry. My bad. I'm not gonna give it a scientific wild ass guess, or swag for short. That's closer to water, right? <laughs> Good swag. You have to practice swagging. I really wonder what these bubbly stones are. There's some more uh, right on our left. A whole bunch of them. A whole lot bunch of them. Imagine if one day they drop like the Blackboard or the U2 and you fly up to 80,000 feet and from there you can see that it spells out like Raspam. <laughs> <laughs> That would be insane. <laughs> and there's this, another small farm or facility up there with a radio slash TV tower. It's cool. Oh man. Flying a Rasbam jet is kind of funny in a Rasbam map. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people dunk on them a lot. And I certainly did when I started because the Harrier was a bit wonky back then, but I mean, the Harrier is the first aircraft I ever got for DCS, and I love it a bit, even though I don't fly it as much as I should anymore. But they've really stepped up the game lately. Yeah, yeah this map is just absolutely beautiful and insanely big. More colored houses. Again, looks like farms. I'm gonna turn off the low altitude warning. Yep, same. <laughs> This is looking beautiful. Roads, houses, docks for some boats. Boats, small boats right here. Nothing looks like a yacht. Cars parking. Yeah, this is very detailed. More uh, colored buildings. Yeah, I know I need to add power. Is that a railway? No, just a road. Okay, cool. This is a cool I looking ship. area. Yeah, I saw. That's it. like a wreck from the old days, when yeah. ships were still cool. Oh wait, what? I want to turn around for that. Here's a Stanley Port airfield. Looking. And good you have eyes on right in the bay here. Yeah, on the, the, like a free-masted sail ship. Yeah, that's what I'm turning around for. This deserves some uh, slowing down and uh, looking at. Oh wow. This is interesting. I really want to check uh, Google Maps and satellite view and see if it's... And that has to have some history. Yeah. Or it might, it might actually still be there. <laughs> we don't know. And if it I mean, is still it's there... It's been yeah. there for a long time is my qualified guess. Looking like a nice, uh, interesting airfield. Yeah. Kind of medium-sized. Nothing crazy. Imagine the crosswinds you could get here with sea uh, on three sides. Oh hell, yeah, that's that would be beautiful actually, and also some uh, heliports or sorry, heli parking spots. Yeah, good for the Apache. Yep. So next waypoint should should make us go through some uh, hills and mountains. I'm hoping. Yep. And we'll see what they did there. Twenty miles out. See what it looks like from here. Yeah, it looks like we're going towards some uh, hills. We'll say the uh, performance is actually better than I expected. I expected this to be really hard to run, run, and I'm noticing it's all right. For me, it's been buttery smooth. Yep. Then tight time. I see two yellow, two, three yellow houses, one green, one red, one light blue. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, I see something uh, I want us to fly through. Oh no, it's more of those bubbly stones. I thought it was a small city. They look really good when you get up close to them. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm uh, coming closer more 
of those stones. Definitely look more like a feature than a bug. With those kind yeah. of... Uh, at first, before I got close enough to them, it look, they looked kind of odd. But they definitely look uh, high quality up close. Well, I'm looking at some more stones. This is actually looking great. I would like to look at them closer in the Apache. I'm going to a lazy left turn to the airfield. Roger. Oh, look, I found a hill. This is a very flat map overall, but it's it's hard to put it, but it, it's flat but detailed. Yeah. I love all those small rivers going between those uh, kind of bumpy flatness. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Here's the most massive bridge over absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's uh, they really put some work into that one. Two of them. Right, and uh, coming in for the landing. Let's see how I do. The Harrier is really not my uh, strong suit. Okay, okay, pretty smooth. Now just need to brake. And there we go. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been our first impressions of the new South Atlantic map, and it is gorgeous. Hope you enjoyed the video. Land safely.